Hi there, I'm Boris Joaquin. Welcome to Mentoring Moments. This started out as a discipleship time between me and my brother, Renz Mansoheto, until Renz here decided that we share it to everyone else when we came up with a Facebook Live version of Mentoring Moments every Tuesday, 7 p.m. So now we're producing short videos on subjects that are very close to our hearts, and we know this would help you as well. So we'd like to talk about our sense of purpose. Last May, if you heard in the news, Mark Zuckerberg returned to Harvard, the college where he dropped out from, in order to start Facebook to deliver the commencement address. And basically what he said in his commencement address is that purpose is that sense that we are part of something bigger than ourselves, that we are needed, mm. that we have something better ahead to work for, yes. that purpose is what creates true happiness. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, of course he could say that. Zuckerberg of all people. Anybody whose net worth is estimated to exceed $60 billion wow. can actually say, you know, you focus on your purpose. You do this and have a purpose-driven life. It's easy for him to say. However, there's a growing body of research that backs him up. Studies actually show that Having a sense of purpose is an increasingly strong predictor of happiness and a powerful antidote to depression. Research further found out that purpose-driven people are four times more likely to be engaged at work and 50% more likely to become a leader. Wow, and even 60% have a higher level of career satisfaction, So, which means they have a higher income and have a higher net worth. So 42% 40 of them are even highly more contented than usual. And they live up to seven years longer. Wow. Seven years longer. So that's the reason why the world is conscious about vision and purpose. If you remember the gas station ad campaign that, was, that asked its consumers, what drives you? <laughs> or even that instant coffee ad that asked Filipinos, para saan ka gumigising sa umaga? Para saan nga ba? Uh, yeah. <laughs> But we believe here that there are two kinds of purpose-led people. The first one is the driven. The second one is the called. Both will definitely succeed in life, but only one can achieve significance. Yeah, so you see, driven people, driven people have their own agenda and probably stop at nothing to get to their destination. But called people yield to a higher authority and have accountability to other people. Basically, the difference is this. Driven people are self-centered, while called people are selfless. Driven people are interested in what they can get. Called people understand the value in giving. Ken Blanchard once said, you only become a mature adult when you realize that life is more about what you give rather than what you get. Called people add value to others, while driven people add value only to themselves. So our brand of purpose is being called, being called not driven, being called by a higher authority, the creator of heavens and the earth, to have a holy ambition, to be called by God. To have a sense of purpose. Yes. We'd like you to tune in to our Mentoring Moments videos because we'd like to share with you some more tips on having a personal purpose in your life.